rivals is purple banjo. Purple banjo? <laughs> How'd you do? I got four. I lost to I I I did good against him. But the first game I couldn't really kill him. And then he beat me in the second game, but I thought I did pretty good. And then I never have ever played a raster before, so Big Red beat me. You should have seen me style on SSP, dude. Oh, I like dunked him, and then like I jumped again because I had an extra stock, and then I dunked him again because Maple Spike is pretty weak. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Except it's a full spike, so it's like. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm a crit. All right, starting off here on Smashville. We got nothing but the Fire Emblem characters coming out. First match on stream for Four Glory Fridays here at GameWorks Denver. Alba versus Hero. I still don't know what VGG stands for. I'll probably ask him here in a little bit though. Is he supposed to be player five? That's why I know him. I know a player five. You do? Yes. He definitely looks familiar. I forget where I know him from. Well, wherever he's from, he's looking extremely serious. And we got Alba looking more on the common uh, casual side as he gains the sleeve. Not too much of the Ooh, in the beginning. I want you to charge that. I think he was. I don't think he thought that, that was gonna hit. Oh, there we go. Definitely confirming right then and there. A 103 to 55 percent. What do you think that uh, Eros needs to do to turn this around in his favor? He's kind of just getting or having trouble getting in. I mean, at the start of the match, he got 41 percent straight because he was playing it pretty smart as a stock. Um, but now he's just kind of on the ropes this whole time. I think Alba's play has kind of what's throwing him off. Him. He's kind of doing some wild card stuff. Like to give up stage control on that, then the return with side B was a little far fetched, but it's definitely working in his favor. Eros trying to find some answers, getting a little bit more percent on Alba, but Alba's definitely trying to lap him and completely end this game immediately. He's stacking it up quick. And Ooh, oh, tipper, that's Tipper. Though. Um, The problem with Eros' play right now is he's playing to Alba's strength, which seems to be speed. And just aggression and player five or arrows just running in there. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he has much of a spacing strategy. Like he's going in and trying to hit with like literally the hem of the sword. Yes. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm pretty sure he'll figure it out after this game. Maybe he's just kind of in shock that a corn will play aggressive. Because I'm not gonna lie, corn's aggressive options are kind of so hard. They're not the greatest. No. She has great tilts though for like comboing and stuff. But yeah. no, she's not an aggressive character. She's even more space than Marth in my opinion. Yes, I agree. And that's usually how I take advantage of a lot of forwards, is just realizing they can't approach Oh, Ooh, going for that counter going to be a tip of forward smash, though. This is still scary for uh, Alva, even though he's kind of been dominating this whole... Never mind. It was scary. Yes. There was a moment where it was terrible. Dude, tippers all over the place. Absolutely. And uh, definitely going to be in Alva's favor this first one. I'm thinking Arrow should go to a place with more space, but I feel like with him being in that mindset of having to rush down his opponent, he's going to stick to smash. Him. I can see it. Two things. One, I think SSB's Mars actually pretty good. Yep. Two, Eros, I'm if he's watching this, I am gonna completely judge you on how you do this next game because I wanna see how you adapt. I kinda I'm kinda curious too. Like I said, Alba like he wasn't he wasn't really playing a fundamental style. He was just kinda pressing a lot of buttons and was working in his favor. Like that Nair, very aggressive uh, decision to just kinda press and a button that can definitely get you punished. But it's working. And he's not really quoting stage control either. He's literally just running around the stage and hitting. Yeah, I see it. I mean, I just don't understand some of the options he's throwing out. I just want to see him go on the ground and hold shield, which he's not doing. No, he's he's literally taking full advantage. But does he have a reason to hold shield at this point? Yes. Not with kills like that. He does because Alva is being so aggressive towards oh, him. I meant, just... Oh, I meant Alva. Alva oh. doesn't have a reason to hold shield. No, Eros, he doesn't. Yeah, Eros needs to hold shield. If he had his shield up, then none of this would have happened. Like, I don't think I've seen him hold shield once. Yeah, me neither. Watch, he's gonna do it in five seconds. Five. Nah, he's not. Three. Three. Oh. Ah. oh! In that five second window, Eros trying to get back in here after that significant shield holding button. 73% oh. though, almost getting completely destroyed by that uh, the charge bite. I wanna know how long that last match was, but we won't know because the timer's not on, and that's a stock. There we go. And that was like maybe a, maybe a four minute that. set. Yeah, I know, right? Here, hold on. They're gonna go make sure things get regulated. Before you leave, turn the timer on. There's no time on it. Yeah, there you go.